This is one of GarageBand's most powerful features, but I never see anyone talking about it. Automation. Amongst other things, you can use it to do things like fade in or fade out the volume of a project, or have the panning of a track adjust automatically. But did you know you can also use it to adjust the parameters of any plugin you have loaded on a track, and not just GarageBand's stock plugins either? You can use automation to automatically adjust the parameters of any third party plugins you have on a track as well. In this project, I have a single track that plays back by itself for four bars as a sort of intro. It's not particularly interesting as is though. If I add this third party filter plugin, Filter, to it, it definitely sounds a bit more interesting. But it's still not a particularly dynamic intro. If I turn on automation, either by clicking on Mix in GarageBand's toolbar and selecting Show Automation, or by hitting the keyboard shortcut A on my typing keyboard, I can have the filters cut off gradually release over the course of the four bar intro. In the track that I'm working with's track header, you can see that the automation parameter is set to the track's volume by default. If I click on that menu, I can then select from other track properties to automate, the currently available controls in the smart controls window, and here I can select one of the plugins I have loaded on my track. If I select Filter, I can choose to automate any of these controls. Cutoff is what I'm looking for here, so I'll select that. You can see a line has appeared along the length of the track's region. I can click anywhere along this line to place an automation point, then drag it to increase or decrease the filter's cutoff value. So if I put a point here and drag it down, then put another point here and drag it all the way up. The filter cutoff will slowly open, as it were, over the course of the four bars, making for a much more interesting intro. You can also use parameter automation to perform some more subtle changes. In this project, I have a heavily distorted guitar track that runs through the verse, chorus and bridge sections. I'd really like to have the level of drive that's added by Aurora DSP's excellent Dead Kitty guitar plugin change, depending on what part of the song is currently playing. If I open automation again, click on the automation menu in my tracks track header, then select Dead Kitty from the menu, I can automate any of these parameters. If I select drive, I can then add one point here in the region at the start of the verse and to here at the end of the verse, just before the chorus. If I drag the second of these two points up from 0 to 10, the drive will really kick in during the chorus. I can then go through the rest of the project using automation to adjust the level of drive depending on where in the song it's needed. Let me know if you use automation like this on your plugins in your projects down below. And if you found this video helpful, give that like button a good hard slap on the way past. I really appreciate it. And if you wish there was an easy way to make your GarageBand drummers sound a lot more natural, Watch this next.